welcome to Chuck to Mix. I'm making some space, you know, right here. You see where this thing is? Uh, I'm gonna push that right back because today I'm getting my hammer. My own hammer! Hello, sir. So this hammer is a really rare occasion because it belongs to a famous producer, Andy Strange. He has produced some very, very famous music, including Robbie Williams' big albums. He's worked with Elton John. This is a quick list of his credits. So my friend Greg Borman told me that he was looking to get rid of this Hammond because he was not using it. <laughs> Greg Borman is one of the foremost experts in Hammond organ, Hammond discography, everything about every Hammond organ that ever lived. <laughs> he's a fine organist himself, and more famously, he's the A&R label manager of Impressive Collective, a really multi-talented guy, and he's waiting for us right now. Dr. Mix. Gregorius Insufferabilis. Gregorius Insufferabilis. <laughs> you know, in Latin. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Here we go, it's a big day. It's a big day, man. Dave the Vance. Oh, Dave is here. Oh, Dave. And he's the UK's best Hammond engineer tech ever. Right in the thick of it. Here, you get to keep watching this. <laughs> so you can have lots of keyboards on top of your Hammond. It's even It's right. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Claudio, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Hey Andy, you are right? Yeah. yeah. They're all right once they're moving, they're easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yes, we need an anniversary next year. <laughs> you know that I may be this Hammond's dad, but you are this Hammond's mum. Oh, wow. There you go. I often have to load them on my own if there's no one there. Woo hoo! Go. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, how much does it weigh? Four, five, five pounds. It's like the weight of a baby elephant. That's a nice looking bench. And a Leslie 145, right? Oh. Well, that's the original bench that this came is with the original it. One, yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's okay. we'll, we'll we'll give it some love. I'm so thankful, man. No, it's thank great. thank I'm you. Glad, I'm glad that you're, that you've got a good user and you're going to make a star of it. So if, if you if you want a Hammond proper at a gig, that's what it takes, just for the Hammond. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, it's good to see you. Man. Good I'm to see you. Thank you so time. much. Good. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah, still one piece. Good. Yeah, uh, basically, you can also turn it into a drinks cabinet. Well, for now, we just park it there. It's big. Uh, are you afraid? I'm scared. All right. Look good, or you might get wiped out if we let go. Everybody mind your fingers. Please. And your foot. That's ginormous. Right, the rest of this is easy now, so if you want to... I was going to ride it like a surfboard down the hallway. What a moment! Oh, blimey. Got it. Did you 
you say cool blimey? Yeah, I did. <laughs> We're in East London. <laughs> wow. There will be other organs you'll want as well as this one. This is the We're going to lift it and you pull the scale up. Okay. Three, two, one, lift. Working on scented candles. Okay, so that's for the last link. And that's where it goes. Bang. This carries also the power. Yeah. Okay, so we don't need to power this. No, no, no. Got it. That's that's the video. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you got it. So how do you do that again? So you want to listen to the motor getting up to speed. So. Okay. That's the starter motor. That's leveled out now. So run now the switch. We that one. It's about 10 seconds ish. Okay. But you can hear it. You do it. Yeah. You can hear when the. Whoa. The look okay. of the studio has dramatically changed. <laughs> like now, That's this is the star. Now it's a chapel. Wow. Can I take the bench? Can you? Dude. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Your life is ruined. Duction mix. Mick, 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 Okay, oh. Someone looks like a kid on Christmas Day. Look at him, look at his face. Claudio <laughs> six again. Claudio, here's your Hammond organ. <laughs> we have removed the lid and now it rests happily there. Mini bag for that. Okay, we're having pizza. It's like working on a car, basically. What have we done? It goes people into buying hammers. So we are on the other side. So basically you're passing the cables for the signal to be interrupted. Yes. You can put a an effect through it, right? That's right. Where is the sound of the Hammond coming out from? In the matching transformer. Matching transformer? That's balancing the signals from all the draw bars together. It's like and a mixer? Yes. This is the main preamp? Yeah. Nice. This is a rotating 
cylinder with gears that intersect. Yeah. Right? yeah, there's 91 spinning wheels in here. And each of these magnets, the other end of those is almost touching the wheel. The wheels are making the sine wave. The closer the magnet is, the louder the sine wave is. And these are all set at different levels on a chart to make sure because you don't want certain frequencies to be louder than others. So right. it just balances. It's like voicing an organ. Right. <laughs> look at look at him. You're you're just so happy that I got my first Hammond, aren't you? What do you mean first? How many are you planning on getting? Would you mind telling me a little bit of the story of this Hammond and w what you know about it? Some mutual friends told me that they knew of this organ that had been belonging to a producer and it had broken down at some point, I don't know, 10 years ago. It had been away for repairs for several years and never got finished. I was asked to take it on and finish it. When I tried to start it, it had quite a lot wrong with it. So it basically had a complete restoration. The generator wouldn't turn. When that was fixed, the keys wouldn't play. The, the, the manuals had to come out, this whole assembly that you see, the drawbars, the keys, everything had to be lifted oh. out of the organ, dismantled, all the bus bars had to be cleaned, put back in. And every time you do that, you have to take all of these wires off. So there's 91 here. You have to desolder them? Yep, and then resolder them. No way. Oh yeah. And then when that was done, we still had a hum. So this preamp came out and I did the rebuild on it. Wow, so I, you rebuilt it? Yeah, I'll show you what I did inside if you oh, like. Yeah, yeah, because now it has to come up because you have to in, uh, yeah. inter, intercept, we use the word intercept yeah. the signal. These wires are going to go in here in a minute, but we need power, so that's going to come from this wire. So we're taking the power from the preamp? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. I'll show you what I did. So there are certain things that always go wrong in my experience on these, so I always change them. We don't replace every single component because most of them are okay. I change these ones here, plate, grid, screen, resistors for these two valves. These two here, which is for that valve, or tube if you're American. Up here, this special board that a very good friend of mine makes for me has all the capacitors to replace the original ones in the cans, the big silver tubes up there. Oh. And that gets neatly, safely gets rid of all the hum and all the problems. Just by changing a few resistors? Yeah, and changing that one there. Power board, right? Yeah, I build them myself just for my restorations. You build them yourself just for your yeah. restoration? Yeah. My friend has the boards made for me, the purple circuit board. Then I fit all the capacitors on it and install it. And that replaces these here. That's got three and that's got that one's got four capacitors in it. And they're dealing with high voltage. They're smoothing 400 volts DC. This will put you to bed. And the valves are the original or these are replaced? Let's... No, these are the originals. They are original? Yeah. Now the funny thing with Hammond is they're very conservatively designed and they don't really strain the valves. So you can see some of these have got the Hammond writing on them. So these are from 1965? Hmm. That's basically his birth certificate. Oh yeah, that's, oh, wow, nice way to put it. That's its birth certificate. Dude, this is so cool. So this possibly was, well, definitely built in America and then shipped over to the UK. They called them tray organs. So they came over in parts, labeled machine parts, because the import duty on that was a lot less than importing completed organs. And at some point, Hammond started building the cases themselves in Edgeware. And there's a different kind of C3 case that you see with the smooth sides and a slightly different lid. I think that was about 68, 69. And that then ran on for the rest of the production run. Now this is the starting instructions because it's complicated, but basically that was attached to the organ on the lid, which means it might be an old BBC organ. Right. Hello, my BBC Hammond. Put it in uh, time-lapse mode. I'm going to clean it. Cool. Time-lapse mode. Oh, mate, we're going to walk this so just as an aside this patch board here lower manual upper manual and you can see the note names along the top upper manual lower Those. manual yeah so you ah. So you know that that one is those draw bars and that one is those draw bars. The rest of these are preset sounds. 
that are made up of combinations of drawbars by putting certain wires to certain buses. So you're saying that here I can program my presets? Yes. <laughs> Dude, that'll be fun. Get a little bag of extra screw heads to <laughs> feel the heft. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I've got to tighten something up. Anything you put through the input will go through the effect and the Leslie once you get your line in fitted. Yeah. So, so okay. So basically, this is just a send and return. Yeah. Which means, though, also I can use it to record. Yeah. And to record instruments straight yeah. through it. Yeah. And it's not here, not here, Top. just on the top. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So psychedelic, isn't it? Mm. Mm. All right, I'm gonna play for you now. Nice. I'm gonna try and play for you now. And let's say goodbye to Dave. Nice to meet you. Man, thank you so, so much. You're very welcome. Of course. You're gonna stick for a little I'll longer? I'll stick around for a little bit, yeah. Make All sure right. you let you keep yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Mix. Mix, 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 mix.